What is going on YouTube? Hit it back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be doing a dedicated review of TED.Finance. So if you guys have heard about this platform within the crypto space or you haven't heard about it, definitely make sure to stay tuned and let me know what you guys think about this. Should it be something that we continue to look at here on the channel or maybe in, you know, invest in in the near future? Otherwise, if you guys are new to the platform, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up as this does help support the YouTube algorithm. And let's jump into today's episode. All right, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to TED.Finance for sponsoring today's episode. So for those that don't know, TED.Finance is a farming and profitable blockchain game optimizer running on a polygon network known as Matic. The protocol was created by experienced blockchain developers and provides high performance yield farming through the implementation of existing profit generated by mechanisms such as QuickSwap, Sushi, uh, Curve, Av, etc. Profitable blockchain games are an additional feature of TED Finance. So the TED Finance platform pretty much enhances uh, farming profits by optimizing profitability, compounding strategies on the Polygon network. Users will be depositing tokens in the currency of the selected pool into TED.Finance smart contracts, which are pooled in into pretty much more uh, tokens for like LP tokens or staking more of the TEDs which is basically their token, T-E-D-D, uh, TED.Finance. It's just short, it's their abbreviation for their actual token. And then using compound percentages shows uh, basically better performance than simple pools. Now, the project implements farming strategies of different risks and profitability. For those who are looking for the highest income with minimal risks, and for those who expect high rewards for moderate risk, Immediately after the launch of TED.Finance, the TED Matic LP pool, Mono pools, Ethereum, Matic, TED, USDC, and USDT will be available very soon. Then their number will gradually increase. The developers plan to make more than 150 pools into collaboration with QuickSwap, SushiCurve, and the AV protocols. Price pools will be available on the platform where once a day, one lucky person receives yield from the farm of the total TVL in the pool. Also, the team will also be adding lucrative blockchain games to the platform, which is also a unique feature. TED is pretty much the project's own token. You can stake, farm, and earn TED tokens on TED.Finance. But um, more importantly, I'd like to now spend the rest of today's episode pretty much going over their platform and any articles that I've found of interest. So let's jump into that. All right, guys, as you can see, I have TED.Finance pulled up. This is pretty much their website, and I do have a bunch of articles I want to look at as well. Uh, so I guess before we dive into specifically their website, I just want to pull up a few things that I found out. So right here I have on DAP Radar, it basically talks about all these different types of cryptocurrency projects within the space, and it basically compares their statistics uh, against other things. So as you guys can see, it really talks about how relevant uh, the projects are, how well they're doing within the space. But just something to keep in mind is with TED.Finance, it seems to be fairly new. It only has currently about 82 people that are using this cryptocurrency right now as we speak. Granted, we are in a bear market across all of the cryptocurrencies, so I'm not surprised that we saw a dramatic decrease of 25%. Don't let that scare you compared to other cryptocurrencies, because I would ultimately say that any uh, cryptocurrency I pulled up on DAP Radar would probably see similar uh, percentage drops because of how much the market overall has corrected, with Bitcoin falling about 50% from 65000 to 30000 it's fair to say that most of the cryptocurrencies and all coins did the same. So it does have about 82 users. Uh, we do have about 11.8K in volume, and then we have 169 transactions. And this is in the past day, so understand that this is a little bit different. If you look at the 30 days or seven days, you can see that in the past seven days, it's actually up 444 uh, users overall. And you can see right here, this is pretty much the time that it was uh, you know, released basically came to June 22nd. That's really not that long ago. This project was pretty much uh, launched about, I'd say, last week, or at, la at least that's where volume started to really, you know, trickle into the coin. You can see right here by the 
23rd, two days later, it had $120,000 in volume uh, with 550 transactions and pretty much double its users that we currently have right now. And you can see how it's, you know, successively gone up. It kind of stabilized that till June 24th, and then it's been on a slow correction back down, but as does the rest of the market. So you can see how well this has performed compared to, you know, other cryptocurrencies within the space. So I did find that it does, they do have a Twitter which has a pretty active community. This is a pretty recent project. So to see 5,000 people around it, it's pretty big for, you know, just being listed a couple weeks ago, if not like a couple days ago. Um, their viewership and their engagement isn't as high nearly as what I've seen in the past. So I don't know how they got their views, the 5,000 views. It is what it is. But overall, it does look to be fairly okay. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, even their airdrop, that was pretty big. 100 retweets right retweets right here. And their first original drop, you can see right here, Ted.Finance is going to launch very soon. This is June 16th. So they launched around the 22nd. This had 5.6K shares. So it was really big, it seems like, when they originally launched the project. And now we really have to see if this is going to continue to play out. It's obviously a DeFi farming and blockchain gaming protocol running on Polygon. They have, obviously, the uh, TED Finance, which was the successful launch. And then they obviously have their Quick Swap, which is right here, and Polygon right there, as you can see, uh, which is basically how to purchase those tokens. But really, just to uh, spend the last couple of minutes kind of reviewing their website, you can see this is basically the first page. It shows you guys the amount of deposited value. It says 284,000 deposited and a 271K market cap, which is fair. I understand that. Uh, the DAP radar shows it's slightly less, uh, a lot less volume. At least it's been moving within the past couple of days. But overall, maybe that's what it shows right here. Uh, we then see pretty much its pools that it has pulled up right here. Ted Dematic, and then to Ethereum, we have USDT, Wmatic, and USDC. And then we have uh, what you're staked at. We have Mono, Quick Swap, Sushi, Av, and Curve, everything being broken down. Um, we go over to, we, that was pool. So then we go over to swap and you can see swap helps token conversion. Uh, we recommend using swap only for transactions less than 10K in value for now. High transactions amount carry high risk due to slippage. So you can see right here, uh, basically what they have here. I'm not sure why I have to add my Polygon chain wallet and then it will probably work. But you can see the roadmap here, what they've launched. This is like this month. Understand this is a very new cryptocurrency and just like penny stocks, high risk, potentially high reward, but there's also that big chance of potential reversal and correcting to the downside. So we have to see how this plays out. We have to see how it does within the crypto space. We'll see if it's able to sustain, um, you know, a longevity within the crypto, you know, market and overall. And if it manages to last a couple months, Grant, granted a year, it, it can pretty much confirm itself that it's going to be doing well. Uh, but they do have a roadmap. They do have something planned. You can see marketing campaigns, token listings, uh, smart contract audit, governance section, launch a pool of joint farming, and the launch of prize pools, scaling TED protocol, and then marketing campaign. So we'll see how exactly they're doing. I mean, I just recently found out about them, so we'll see. Uh, they do have docs here, which pretty much goes about everything. I did show you guys how to basically purchase this. You could see about this is their TED token address, which you could just copy in. And we did mention this earlier in today's episode. Just panning through here, you can pretty much see basically everything about this uh, campaign that they have in their project and what exactly is going on here. TED gaming system, the main distinguishing feature of the project is the combination of profitable methods and exciting game mechanics, high performance farming pools, lucrative blockchain games, and prize pools allow any TED.Finance user to combine business and pleasure to earn money playing on uh, DeFi. So that's pretty cool. I'd like to see how they decide to launch that here on uh, TED.Finance. So that'll be very interesting to see how that comes out. It says farming yield on TED Finance platform will be super profitable with old users and new ones, so on and so forth. They have the TED rank system, which you can see right here. They have a roadmap, which we discussed, emission and token supply, basically how exactly their fees are in regards to 15% of every emitted TED is sent to TED's treasury, 5% deposit fee, where 2.5 goes directly to a buyback to TED, supporting the price of TED pumps. They have the farming profitability, which talks about the breakdown of how exactly they're working their farming, their airdrop, which they have here, types of pool, TEDmatic, other yield farming pools and price pools. They also have the games here, dice and roulette. So I can't really seem to find where 
these games are, but maybe it's coming to the platform and I just can't find it here. But it basically says the player wins if he guesses the number of roulette wheel. The blockchain implementation allows us to make a roulette game as fair as transparent as possible since the information about all the winning is publicly uh, available on the website of the network scanner. Roulette on the blockchain is a modern, anonymous, and transparent way to uh, try your luck and win TED. So ultimately it seems okay they did get audits too uh, they're currently working on smart audits so they'll have it in july they have contracts uh community links how to's and so on and so forth but otherwise that's pretty much gonna wrap up this little overview of ted finance uh it's an interesting platform i'd like to see what they have moving forward within their campaigns their marketing and how exactly it does throughout the crypto space so if you guys have any questions about this or you've heard of ted finance and you know have a comment about it definitely make sure to leave it down below Otherwise, huge shout out to Ted Finance for sponsoring today's episode. Definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as this does help the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.